Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Isabella Spindola, and I'm the Senior Membership Engagement Officer responsible for the water professionals within the International Water Association. Thank you for everyone for coming to this uh, online YWP Get Together. Uh, and today we will be focused on the engagement of young water professionals and the IWA specialist groups. So before uh, we jump into the agenda and we get the opportunity to hear from the speakers, I want to give some um, information about the event. Feel free to post questions using the chat and using this tool to introduce yourself and saying where you're from, if you're part of an SG, if you are an IWA member. If you are okay, uh, you can be on camera, but please do mute yourself and you don't need to share your screen. I will be the one sharing all this presentation slides. And this event is already being recorded and uh, I'm going to make it available uh, online later with also the, the presentation the slides and any other relevant information that we might have it. So besides me doing the introduction part, do we have uh, another amazing moderator, Nan is here. And we will also have a rapporteur, Claudia. Claudia and then they are both from the wider steering committee and they are part of the subcommittee responsible for the specialist groups. And in terms of our amazing panelists, uh, my colleague Rajna will be joining. She is the officer responsible for the SGs here in the RWA Secretariat. And we also have um, speakers coming directly from the specialist group. So we have Gary, uh, Uf, uh, Genesee, Stewart, and Razia. But you will hear more from them later. And before uh, I hand over to Nan, I just want to quickly present the agenda on this, so you will all be prepared with uh, the presentations that we have today. Um, as you can see, I'm concluding this first part, and then we hand over, we head over to the presentation. We will hear from Rashna and about um, the, our perspectives here in the Secretariat. And then we'll have the participation of the SGs on intermittent water supply, modeling and integrated assessment, water loss and instrumentation control and automation. And finally, a part for Q&A and then the closing remarks. With this, uh, I will hand over to Nan. Are you prepared? Thanks, Isabella. Um, hi, everyone. My pleasure to be here today to moderate this session. So overview again today, we have five presentation from different uh, uh, expert person from uh, different specialty group. Uh, so each presentation will have 10 minutes. And uh, if you can have any question, please do not hesitate to put your question in the chat and uh, uh, we will, and we have uh, the uh, discussion and conclusion in the end. At this same time, I would like to introduce the first, first speaker today will be uh, Rashna Sakari. See the IWA membership engagement officer, a special group. It's on to your right now, Rashna. Thank you, Nam. And hello, everyone. And thanks for joining us today. My name is Rachna Sarkari. Work, I, am, I am working as a membership engagement officer, facilitating all I, uh, specialist groups' activities. So, uh, next slide, Isabella. Yeah, so I will talk briefly about a specialist group and we have our chairs, SG leaders, they will be telling you more about all the SGs and how to join them, how to get engaged with all these SGs. So specialist uh, uh, IWA offers a range of specialist group for members to join and people from uh, it connects people from across discipline and across national boundaries to accelerate the science innovation and practice that can make a difference in addressing water challenges and pushes the sustainability agenda. And we have like global reach. We have members across uh, membership across more than 140 countries. And specialist groups are an effective means of international networking, sharing information and skills, and making professional and business contacts. 
So here uh, you can see specialist groups, the engine of IWA. Yes, they're very, very important. And if you see this infographics, it uh, shows you the uh, whole, the water cycle and our specialist groups are, uh, you can, you will find them everywhere. All these components, the water cycle, they're working everywhere and addressing the water challenges and pushing the sustainability agenda. So our members and young water professionals, they can join up to 51 specialist group and contribute to the SGs by engaging in discussions with other members, join the SG management committee, provide support due to the SG events, webinar conference, etc. So we receive so many questions, how to get involved in SGs. And sometimes people, they think on, uh, they can only, the only way to contribute with SG uh, to join the management committee. And it's not true. The leaders are here and they, these SG leaders, SG chair and management committee members, they are here for all the members. If you join the page, you have all the 2,500 members and the SG leaders are always there to support and to facilitate the activity. And they want Want everybody to join and participate not only the management committee members they are the leaders they plan everything but they invite all of you to join their activities so how and they are very self-managed communities for iwa member and gathered under a specialized topic which you can see on iwa connect plus so how can you contribute uh, here so you can uh, go and join the, uh, the specialist group, whatever you feel interested in your area, your expertise, you can join the group. You can contact the chair to express your active interest to be involved in management committee meetings in an event, as editing the SG newsletters. We all SGs, they have their quarterly, annually uh, newsletters. You can put their, submit their content and edit the newsletter. You can also express your interest to review the paper and you can uh, uh, you know, ask management committee and chair how to do this. And if you don't know, you will learn from them. You can learn from them. You can also, they have all the SGs, they have their publication, they have the newsletters, they have their papers, white paper and other publication. You can ask them and submit their con your content to those newsletters or you, you can review the papers and co-authorize the book chapters if you want. And as you all know, we have uh, SG webinars uh, and other uh, regional workshop, international conferences. You can also, if you're interested, you can reach out to our uh, SG leaders and management committee members and get uh, very actively involved in these events. Uh, people, they always ask, okay, how to get to that leadership role? So leadership role is not just easy. You join and you become the management committee or chair. It's not. You have to work with these manage, um, this SGs and you have to, uh, you know, get that position in management committee leadership position. So th you can also um, participate actively in all the activities or lead the group. Uh, also, it's very important to become an active contributor uh, contributor on IWA Connect Plus uh, to stay tuned. The latest news, like you can, you know, use it as social media and you can get connected with others and, um, you know, start the topic and discussion, everything. So thank you for more questions. We are here. We'll answer your question or you can email me or my email ID. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nam. And I'm giving this floor to Nam again. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rashna, for providing uh, us a uh, very useful uh, information. Um, and guys, if you can have any question for Rashna, please uh, wait until the discussion session. Uh, so raise your hand or type your question question in the chat. So uh, next, so I would like to introduce the next speaker. So next speaker is Dr. Rasiye Pramani. So see the chair of IWA Intermittent Water Supply Specialist Group and she also a professor of water engineering and industrial fellow at of Royal Academy of Engineering and Center of Water Supply of Water System, University of Sister, United Kingdom. Uh, it's on you right now, uh, Dr. Uh, Amani. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, it's Pleasure to be here and have an opportunity to present our special group activities. Uh, next slide, please. So 
just that introduction for a specialist group, uh, we work on intermittent water supply systems. Uh, the, uh, what is the definition of this? A pipe system that delivers water for less than 24 hours a day or few days a week. Our main objective is to research and advance knowledge and share this one with our community practitioners as well as academics. And the overall aim is to improve operational conditions and management of these type of systems. And ultimate goal is to convert them to continuous systems. Next slide, please. Uh, this uh, slide shows the management committee members of the Intermittent Water Supply Specialist Group. Uh, I am the chair. Uh, Joe Dalton is the secretary. We have got a mix of practitioners and academics in our uh, uh, management committee. And as you can see, we have got uh, also um, early career researchers, young water professionals, as well as um, senior uh, academics or practitioners. So as you can see, we've got three young water professionals in our uh, management committee, uh, Hassan and Asiya. Um, they, Hassan just finished his PhD, Asiya is doing her PhD. And young Willa is a, a practitioner. Um, they are active members of our management committee. And also the figure shows the uh, this geographical distribution of the uh, members um, all over the world, especially in regions that are affected by intermittent water supply systems. So membership, if you are a member, a member of IWA, you can join uh, intermittent water supply specialist group. Uh, some of our activities, uh, preparing uh, news re letters regularly, which uh, we update our members on the activities, uh, contributions to different uh, events, or for example, we, uh, we are trying to organize our next conference for 2025. And sometimes we organize sessions at uh, major IWA events. Uh, another event is taking place later IWA Congress uh, in uh, Rwanda later this year. So we are organizing a session as part of our activities in that Congress. We prepare uh, research articles, uh, material for disseminating among our uh, members. We also try to uh, facilitate interactions with other uh, specialist groups and also we contribute to source magazine uh, preparing uh, short articles next slide please so here are some of the articles we have published uh, so far in last two uh, two and a half years we have published three articles in uh, iwa source magazine um, we also during covid we decided to do a survey as a uh, um, com 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 committee, we uh, mobilized and prepared a survey document to see how uh, intermittent water supply systems in different regions have been impacted by COVID. There, this has resulted in a journal publication which has been published. And most recently, we identify a need for another uh, collection of material for sharing on um, intermittent water supply, uh, latest information and also um, best practice. So we, uh, for one and a half year, we were working on a special issue. We received large number of publications and from practitioners, from academic uh, community. And one of the goals was as a, a specialist group, we were trying to not just do traditional special issues. The aim was helping the authors, especially those who didn't have that much experience with writing technical uh, reports, to be able to bring those uh, the, the knowledge and experience and work they have done to a wider audience. So this uh, special issue has been finalized. There are very interesting pa pa papers from young water professionals and practitioners and academics. Uh, and it 
uh, already the pa papers are in public domain, but uh, IWA is going to uh, um, create a virtual special issue, putting all the papers in one document. So you can access this soon. The journal is Agbo, Water Infrastructure, Ecosystem and Society. Next slide, please. Also, another activity is a regular webinars we organize. This takes place uh, last Wednesday of each month at 1 p.m. UK time. We usually record our uh, uh, webinars and they are available from our YouTube channel. We are also active in LinkedIn. Uh, so if you want to follow our activities, please feel free to check those. We usually encourage uh, diverse speakers for our webinars. So we usually have uh, young water professionals as well as more experienced uh, professional water professionals to present. Uh, we usually try to uh, cover different regions, challenges. So it's very diverse type of talks you can find in this um, web webinar series. So if you are interested, uh, please join us to collaborate together to uh, contribute to this important topic. Also, if you are already a member of our specialist group and you would like to give a talk in one of our webinars, please contact myself or Joe Dalton and you can see the email addresses below. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rich Prasidye, for your rich presentation and introduction about the intermittent water supply specialist group. So next, I would like to introduce the next uh, speaker, Dr. Uth Jackson. So he's the chair of IWA Modeling and Integrated Assessment Specialist Group. And he also an associate professor at Industrial Electrical Engineering and Automation, Lund University, Sweden. It's on your right now. Thank you. Uh, very happy to be here. Thank you for the invite. Um, we, um, since um, Modeling and Integrated Assessment Specialist Group, yes, I think the, the name speaks uh, quite clearly for, for itself, but uh, if we go to the next slide, well, what we, we try to do in, in this specialist group is to work together both from academia, consulting, and wastewater and water organizations in, in the application of modeling and other types of computing tools to help understand and also to improve our different water systems. Um, obviously, well, the, the, the specialist group itself has quite a long history. So it was created in a time when mathematical modeling was something that was coming up. It was a, a, a new thing. Nowadays, modeling is a standard tool in, in basically all types of, of, of work with water and wastewater systems, as well as many other systems. So of course, there's a lot of modeling and so on happening also in the other specialist groups. But uh, we, we hope that uh, those people that are heavily involved in modeling are then also a part of, of our specialist group, since you can, of course, be a member of, of uh, a number of different specialist groups. We have um, we, we do the, the, the traditional things uh, like we heard in the previous presentations and we'll hear in, in some other presentations as well. But um, we have um, a special priority to try to engage and activate young water professionals. And I will come back to that in, in just a few, few minutes. Um, we also maintain, as, as, as you know, in order to be a member of a specialist group, you have to be an IWA member but we also like to spread our information through other sources. So uh, uh, we also maintain a, an open website where basically the same information as we keep on the IWA website uh, are, is available for people that, that are non-members but still want to follow our activities. So here are some points that in principle all specialist groups should be working with and hopefully they do, at least if they, they are active, um, with conferences and workshops and webinars and special papers and case studies and whatever you, you uh, can see on, on the slide. Uh, but what we, what we are maybe a little bit special is in terms of how we make 
use of the task groups and, and working groups. So uh, if we go to the next slide there, there are obviously different ways to activate a specialist group. Um, in our case, we have some 2,200 members, but of course not all 2,200 members are highly active, but uh, there, there is certainly like a core group of members of a number of hundred people that are uh, heavily in, involved in, in the work within the, the specialist group. And in order to um, not have everything handled and, and done by the management committee, which of course is an important vehicle of, of the specialist group, but to also involve as many of the other members in direct efforts for the specialist group, we work with task groups and working groups. And task groups is, um, that is normally a, a smaller group of specialists, uh, say six to eight people that come together on a specific, specific topic. They uh, have a special contract with IWA headquarters and normally have an official lifespan of about three years. And in the end, they produce what is called a scientific and technical report, uh, which um, is a um, high quality document with, within IWA. Um, also these task groups, apart from the maybe six to eight core group members, they can also have a number of, of associative, um, associated members. Uh, and in our case, very often there are a number of young water professionals that are directly involved in either the core group or as associated members to, to task groups. Uh, Another vehicle is the working groups, which is uh, still work, working on a theme, but normally a wider theme than, than, than a task group. And the working groups are have no time limit and uh, they are doing various efforts to promote their, their specific theme and are normally made up of, of a larger group of people than, than the task groups. And uh, you can see, uh, among the, the scientific and technical reports that are listed at the lower part of, of the slide, that uh, we have been the last few years extremely active in terms of publishing uh, four new scientific and technical reports within uh, since 2021. And uh, we always try to do this in open access whenever possible so that the information gets spread around the world. Um, that also means that we have a number of task groups that have just finished, but we still have two task groups, one on membrane bioreactor modeling and one on a good modeling practice in water resource recovery systems that are highly active and still ongoing work. So um, there is certainly a possibility still to become associated members to, to those, those two task groups and also to the three working groups that we have have active right now. Then of course, uh, we also like to um, have different events. That, that's obviously one major thing of, of the specialist groups, um, which involves both the, uh, the management committee and local organizing groups and scientific committees and so on to set up conferences and, and, and other types of, of events. And if we go to the next slide, I just want to um, promote to um, the two uh, upcoming events that, that we are organizing. We have uh, what is called uh, the Symposium on Modeling and Integrated Assessment, short name Watermatics. Uh, we will have that in uh, late September this uh, year in Canada. And then um, we have our other conference, international conference, which is the Water Resource Recovery Modeling Seminar. We just, um, uh, the Watermatics is uh, once every four years and uh, the WRR Mod Seminars are once every two year. Uh, and the next one is already being organized as we talk and it will be in uh, Notre Dame in, in the US in April next year. And then we also heavily uh, started up, uh, well, well, heavily, Heavily. We're starting up at least the, the, the planning now for the next 
WRR mod in 2026, where we will release a, an official call for organizers very, very soon. And of course, at all these events that, that we have, uh, we always have special, special <clears throat> preparations and special events for the young water professionals. Uh, there's always an, uh, a special one day workshop where organized and uh, handled by the young water professionals or a group of young water professionals that is kind of standard. Uh, not only in our specialist groups, but in uh, many of IWA events that, that there are, are these type of things. But um, um, yeah, next slide. I also want to, uh, we, we're also organizing webinars, of course. We are just uh, next week, we will have our 16th uh, webinar on uh, May 19. And once you get access to these slides, you will see the link and, and you can Register. It's a very interesting one with excellent, high quality speakers on uh, general, generalized physiochemical models, uh, which, as you may remember, two slides back, that that was one of the scientific and technical reports that was just published uh, by the end of, of 2022. So they will now have an open webinar for one and a half hour and discuss their their main findings. And all of you are, are of course, welcome to that that event. Social media, something that uh, many of, of us, uh, my specialist group and, and others, was for a long time very slow on, on uh, becoming a, a part of. We were happy just to have, have a, a website. But uh, also here, driven also to large part by the young work professionals who are much more skilled in using social media than old guys uh, li like myself. Um, have initiated a number of uh, pathways for us to disseminate and inform about our activities, and uh, so we are. We have a special special group on on LinkedIn, and we have a special group on, on Twitter. And as I said, we maintain also an open website for non IWA members, and we have our own uh, YouTube channel as well, where webinars and other things go are available. Uh, for anybody to 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 watch, I'm not uh, going go to go through this uh, slide. Uh, there's just a number of um, points of what what we do with it within the specialist group in a little bit more detail than was uh, on one of the first slides. I just want to mention the the last two points there in in bold, which is that it is not just a matter of work and, and effort. It is also about creating friendships and creating networks that we try to establish with our specialist groups. And we also certainly enjoy the face-to-face -face social activities that uh, we arrange around different events and, and conferences and so on. So uh, those, those two things are just as important as any, any work-related uh, issues. If we talk a little bit about the management committee, because I believe that if you really want to become involved in, in the effort of, of a specialist group, the best way is if you can become involved in, in the management committee. And um, the VIA specialist group made a uh, um, quite a big change about seven, eight years ago when we decided that we will quite dramatically extend the size of our management committee. And we will do this in a way to get much more involvement or allow possible involvement from young water professionals. So we now have 14 members, senior members, and 14 what we call associated young water professionals in our management committee. And it has been a tremendous success um, for us. Our specialist group is working much more efficiently and doing much more work than, than it has ever done before. Um, with this large number of, of uh, committee members and with the young world professionals energy and, and, and uh, enthusiasm uh, we are much more active we're much more dynamic we can certainly do more active work within the, the management committee itself uh, quite often when you have management committees with with only senior members after a while people get a little bit uh, well they have other priorities to to consider as well so sometimes things like 
handling a management committee of, of a specialist group lowers a bit on, on the priority list. But, but in our case, we always have a large group of people that are willing and enthusiastic to take on different tasks for the work of, of the specialist group. And that is our young work professionals. And hopefully the young work professionals learn quite a bit during this, um, this period as well, which can be three, four, five years. Um, so uh, if we go to the next slide, uh, because uh, we have, um, we are certainly working on the management committee level then to both engage and to mentor and create networks for the young board professionals. Uh, we always work in pairs in, in, in our management committee. So there's a senior person and a young board professional working together and have a joint special um, special responsibility. And of course we pair, pair those two up from different research groups and normally from different countries as well so that we, we get a good good mix. Um, and the, the whole thing is then to train young work professionals in leadership and managing uh, specialist groups um, and also to help, help the young work professionals to um, extend their international networks uh, with other, other researchers, which is of course a fundamental thing for the future of, of any, any young researcher. And quite often the young world professionals that we have are so enthusiastic that they want to stay on as senior members once they are no longer young world professionals. And uh, I think probably 30 or 40% of our management, management committee now is based, is made, made up of previous of, of people that were previously young world professional associates members. We also make always a strong effort to have a very strong young work professional involvement in all the scientific committees for the conferences and events that we set up. Normally about half of the scientific committees are, are uh, made up of young work professionals. And we always do the reviewing, which is normally the, the task of the scientific committee, the reviewing of, of submitted um, submitted papers to, to the conferences in uh, groups of two, also there, one senior and young, one young work professional that work together in, in uh, reviewing papers for, for, uh, for our conferences. And I can just mention that we are actively, I have not yet posted it on IVA Connect and our open website, but it will soon be published there that uh, we, we are calling out for having um, two or three more young work professionals uh, added to our, our management committee. Uh, we use uh, the young work professionals in different roles, of course, apart from being teamed up with, with a senior. One thing that the young work professionals are taking care of is to be liaison officers between the management committee and our different task groups and working groups, thereby also adding on to, to their, their uh, network. The young work professionals are not only part of our monthly management committee meetings, but they also have every three months, they have their own meetings to discuss activities and, and uh, different things that uh, maybe not uh, all, all the seniors should listen into. Uh, and normally also invite somebody to have a mentoring session there or a mentoring uh, presentation about career possibilities and whatever it, it, it may be. So there's some activities that are for the young work professionals for themselves in the management committee, even though they, they are fully integrated also with, with, with the rest of the management committee. Uh, workshops and so on, I've already mentioned that we already always have young work professional workshops and so on. We're also working, uh, well, next slide. We're also working, uh, quite a lot with, um, could we have the next slide, Isabel? Thank you. Um, we have been working quite uh, quite a lot uh, to actively help creating some new local young water professional chapters on the national level. Um, we've um, 
Canada already existed. We we took the initiative to create one one in Sweden, and I think there is one coming up in Italy that uh, is also created by the initiative of the young water professionals in our management committee. Also, the young water professionals uh, set up their own uh, webinars for other young water professionals within the specialist group. Uh, they've had a, a number of those, and we hope to extend that series of webinars as well to uh, to uh, make it available for all young work professionals within IWA, uh, and not not only for for our own specialist group. But we have started up on on the scale of uh, doing this with, within our specialist group. By that, I just w want to uh, welcome you. If you are interested in, in any type of, of work related to mathematical modeling and all the tools that are associated with, with that modeling towards water and wastewater systems to check out the, the, the information on, on IVA Connect or on our open website. And hopefully we will see you as, as members and, and uh, don't be afraid to contact me and or any other in the management committee and we will see what what uh, we can do hopefully something interesting to get thank you so much uh dr uh, jefferson that great overview and great presentation about mia's basilic group i did no out your event already thank you so uh let's move on so our next speaker i would introduce peter gary gary wyatt uh he's the secretary of iwa water loss basilic group and he's uh he's also working on assisting water utility is most of Asian country is on your right now. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I'm the secretary of the water loss um, specialist group. Obviously, we're looking at uh, helping utilities to manage water losses within their distribution networks. Uh, next slide. So our um, specialist group. We have Stuart, who is the chair, who unfortunately couldn't make it today, and then myself. And we have about 20 management committee members who are from 17 countries. But interestingly, out of those 20, we have four young water professionals. Um, this is the first time that we've had young water professionals in our uh, management committee. And it's very pleasing to see that they have been quite active um, in uh, assisting the senior members in doing uh, different um, activities within the uh, specialist group, which I will um, talk about. We are active on IWA Connect Plus, and uh, for most of you, you'll be able to join us as in the water loss group in on IWA Connect. Um, but we also have a wider range of uh, members over 4,000 people that we actually communicate with on a weekly basis by sending out a weekly um, emailer. And uh, we, we get quite a lot of feedback from most of our members. And what's, as what's been said before, probably the best way for young water professionals to get involved at an early stage is basically to go to the conferences and to meet people and to network and build up your um, the people that you know and, and get to realize who is working in water losses in your region or even within your, uh, within your countries. Uh, the water loss specialist group holds conferences every two years, or should I say global conferences every two years. And we also hold regional conferences um, in the off year. So this year, our regional conference was in Trinidad in Tobago, and covered the Caribbean. Uh, last year, our global conference was in Prague, where we had about 48 countries uh, attending and, and between 400 and 450 um, delegates as well. Um, our next conference, which will be in 2024, next April, we is in San Sebastian in Spain, and we're just going through the call for abstracts at the moment. And 
part of what we've done this year for, for the San Sebastian event is we've actually got some sponsorship from a number of companies to sponsor young water professionals to actually come to the San Sebastian event. So what will happen is all young water professionals that have put in abstracts will be reviewed and the, the, what the top um, abstracts that we feel deserve the sponsorship, we will, uh, we will offer to them. So that's something that's interesting for anybody who's looking at, uh, is interested in water loss and interested in coming to San Sebastian next year. So our, the aim of the specialist group is basically to provide leadership in the development of effective and sustainable international best practice in water loss management. And we do that through promoting awareness, developing initiatives. So quite a few areas that we will be looking at. Next slide. So we, we are interested in bringing in new and young talent to the water loss specialist group. As I've mentioned, we do have um, four young water professionals on our management committee. One of the things that we have been pushing over the last few years is um, creation of initiatives, which I suppose is a bit like um, OLF's um, task, task groups or what, what those sort of things. So what we do is we develop best practices for a, a number of different um, water loss practices. And we have young water professionals that join the groups that are doing those best practices. And we've even got one of our young water professionals who's leading one of the initiatives on um, service pipe uh, leakage. So that's, uh, that's something that we are keen to do is to give our young water professionals a, a sort of like a loose rein so that they can, they can have a go at some of the activities we're working in. Um, as I mentioned that we have those uh, initiative initiatives. Some of them are old initiatives that have been around for 15, 20 years, and they actually need updating. And this is why we need the young water professionals to get involved, because some of the technology, some of the processes uh, are new or have been updated since the, the, the original uh, initiatives have been out. So. Uh, by bringing in those young water professionals, it, it helps with those uh, initiatives. We also have young water professionals on our conference um, organizing committees. So for next year, we have um, a technical committee and we have an organizing committee. And we have young water professionals on both, both of those um, committees. Uh, we, uh, we also... Uh, look for our young water professionals to promote themselves at our conferences. So in, in the Caribbean, we actually had a panel discussion that was led by two of our young water professionals, um, which was all to do with young water professionals in the water loss industry, which was a very interesting discussion uh, and got a lot of good questions. We, as, as per the other um, specialist groups, we have a lot of our um, social media already up and running. So we have LinkedIn, we have Facebook um, that is already there. We have our weekly emailers, uh, which is disseminated, disseminated by uh, a group called our communications team. And we have a young water professional on our young, on our communications team that helps. We also have quarterly newsletters and Asia, who I saw was on the intermittent supply as well. She's on our communications committee and she helps to uh, edit um, our newsletters and to, um, to send those out. We also have a number of free softwares and spreadsheets that have been developed by our members and they are actually available free of charge for uh, members of IWA, but also utilities to download and to actually um, be able to manage, help to manage their NRW water losses. Uh, we we also, our, the members of our water loss specialist group have been involved a lot in writing of books. So we have a number of books that have been uh, published by 
IWA Publishing. And through the Water Loss Specialist Group, we've actually managed to make um, several of those documents into open source. So we have a number of books that are open source and also books that have been translated into different languages such as Mandarin and, uh, and Spanish. Uh, this, some of the software you can see here is EasyCalc and Water System Improvement Calculator. You can search for them on, on the internet and you'll find downloads for them. We also started a webinar series. We started this back in 2020 when COVID uh, locked everybody down. And like the other specialist groups, we have a YouTube channel and we, I think we have about 70 webinars uh, uploaded to, to that YouTube channel. And we're actually continuing with our webinars all the time. And in fact, next week, we have a webinar by one of our young water professionals in India who's going to be presenting on uh, the water loss management in India. If, if you sort of like look at a take home message, especially when we're looking at water losses, there are some utilities that are the best of the best, but not all utilities can aim for that. Uh, basically, it depends a lot on the system you have, the money that you have, and also the staff um, capabilities that are in there. So we always say it's not about being the best, but being better than yesterday. And definitely the Water Loss Specialist Group and all of its members is here to help. That's something we like to push to people. Uh, not all of the help that we give has to be paid for. We, we're quite willing to uh, assist in webinars, conferences, workshops, just to improve that water loss uh, awareness. And we are, we do consider ourselves to be one big family. So I think that ends it. If you, if you want to, you can, um, if, if on the next slide, you can see that there's Stuart's and my emails. So if anybody's interested in the water loss uh, specialist group, you can contact either Stuart or myself and ask for more information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gary. Uh, great presentation. And uh, we move on to the last speaker today. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, Janelle C. on for us. So C, a chair of IWA Instrumentation Control and Autom Automation Specialty Group. And C also currently working at uh, a VITO. Water Climate Hub, and she working for she focused mainly on uh, innovation, uh, technology innovation. It's on your right now, Genesee. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm happy to to be with you today. Uh, so I will really introduce you to our SC. Uh, so please next slide. So basically, our SG focus on instrumentation, control, and automation, and, and we work um, basically with, with me, three main pillars. So first, we have acknowledgement. So we want to really be uh, uh, to promote an international forum to discuss, to collect, to obtain information about methodologies and also experience and expertise in different aspects of the instrumentation, control, and automation for a quite broad variety of water systems. Then we work also towards dissemination with the idea of really collect, uh, summarize, and also make publish uh, practical experience uh, and also research experience to support and promote the, the use of ICA in, in practice. And then we also work, as I mentioned before as well, towards application. So we really try to look uh, to other aspects, uh, more than technical aspects. We look also to the socioeconomic and sustainability parts of ICA. For example, how that impacts um, the management problem, how, how this can be taken up by operators in treatment plants, and what is really aspect of how to incentivize the, the application of this type of processes. Uh, please, next slide. So concerning our organization, it's quite similar to the other SG. So we are really open to all IWA members. And we work with a management committee that um, is composed by, by several roles. 
Um, we have the share, the business share, but also we have other specific roles. Uh, at the moment, we are around um, 10 uh, IWM members, and each of one has really a, a specific role that we have de defined. We work with uh, monthly meetings or yeah, online meetings, but apart from that, uh, we also have dedicated work working or brainstorming session if we want to, for example, move forward a webinar or a workshop, or if we want to brainstorm our what activities to bring forward so we have dedicated sessions for that uh, please next slide so this is our current management structure uh, we have uh, you will see in the top um, the different uh, specific roles that we have so we have the shared the business share but we also have roles concerning for example uh, the link with other SG uh, links um, roles related with um, the newsletter and other communication activities and also we link with the young water professional community and below we have a, a, a several uh, affiliated young water professional that work together with the with the rest of the of the management committee to support the different activities but they can be also a, a specific role for a, a really um final activity depending on the needs uh, so we have a quite a, a broad of of, of uh, different um, geographic location and also different profile that uh, bring a lot of uh, active um, yeah, implication in, in the whole management committee. Uh, next slide, please. So to summarize our activities, so I think it's quite similar to the to the rest of the SG. So we we were trying to to update uh, our different um, channels. So we active in the Iowa Connects but also in different social medias that we have with the relevant information for the group and also for the topics and what, what we want to, to bring forward uh, or what we want to move forward. We also work preparing newsletters uh, that all that information can be found in, 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 in our SG uh, Connect page, uh, e Connect page. Also, we uh, organize and support a conference and workshop in different thematics of the ICA, but also in collaboration with other AG. I think that's important to mention. Uh, we also support the, the creation and also the operation of different task groups, working groups, and, and a specific cluster for um, a really a, a specific topic. We work as well organizing webinars. And we also try to encourage publication of all ICA related uh, topics in papers and, and, and in conference and in a scientific uh, journals. And we also try to, to link um, or to have partnerships and relationships with uh, sectors outside IWA, uh, but that are really active on, on, on the same topics. For example, the Smart Water Network Forum and others where we try to link and, and look for synergies. So please, next slide. So you can also find us in, in Iowa Connect Plus, so you can look for, for us over there. Um, but if you have any required, we have a, a, a person that is really working uh, in, in this topic. So you can see the, the, the content information there, or you can also contact me if you have uh, you have some question about how to join or a specific question about, about the group. Uh, please next slide. As soon as you are a member, you can also have access to different sort of information. So we try to put there our newsletter, but also other uh, relevant information for the group so that all the members are, are aware of, of, of what we are working on. Uh, please next slide. As mentioned before, we try to be also um, active in different social media. We have our yeah, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube channels. Um, but we are, most of the information we try to, to share it also in, in, in the Iowa Connect platform. Together with LinkedIn, I, I, I would say, are the more uh, active channels at the moment. Uh, please next slide. So as mentioned before, we work with a newsletter that we try to release several times in the year, and the type of the type of information that we that we try to incorporate every time is really a, a summary of the more relevant activities related with ICA community, uh, also how to get involved, uh, also information on the on the latest webinar or the one that happened, but also the plan for for the new webinars. 
also information about projects related with ICA, and really all what are activities and, uh, uh, and topics that are quite relevant for, for the group. Also, we share any oncoming events, uh, PhD thesis that might be related with the, with, with the group, and also we take advantage to, to share news from the, from the headquarters of IWA. So it's a really, a really um, a moment to share information with, uh, with all the members about the, the, the more active information or more active activities that we have within us. Uh, please, next slide. We also uh, work towards mentioned at the beginning towards uh, being active uh, in dissemination. So, for example, we try to write certain reports and what papers. Uh, this is an example of one recent one where we try to uh, to summarize the trends on, 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 on different thematics, for example, in innovative technologies and, and water and health, resource and recovery and circular economy. So there was a special chapter on instrumentation, control and automation. Uh, please, next slide. We also work actively uh, organizing webinars and workshops uh, through the year. Um, and just to give you an example, this was a, a, a workshop organized actually by the young water professional. It was uh, held in the ICA conference uh, uh, last year. Um, so this is a really a, an example on how the, the young water professional can, can get involved. This was 100% um, organized by the young water professional community. So this is a clear example of how you can, you can be active in, in our SU. Uh, next slide, please. As mentioned before, we try to team up with the uh, externals as well, and uh, I just listed uh, the, the two main um, groups that, that we try to, to work with. So we have the Water Industry Process and Automation Control Group and the Smart Water Network Forum because we actually work in, in, in similar thematics. So it's a, it's a good thing to, 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 to try to find out synergies and, and work together in the more trending topics. Uh, please, next slide. So just to, to give you a, a short uh, closing summary. Um, so we try to work really on stimulated closing the gap between the different needs in the yeah, for industry and also in research, but always looking through our applied solutions. So how we can implement instrumentation, auto automation in practice. We try also to, to strain the synergies with other SG another uh, IWA initiative because uh, there are really a, a lot of uh, topics in common and it is good to benefit from the expertise on each of the groups to come up with something together. So we, we try to, to work uh, on that uh, area as well. Um, also try to extend and, and have a more active uh, communication through, through uh, the different channels. It's something that we, we, we are trying to put even further and preparation of, of, of webinars and workshops for this year and, and the years to come. So um, if you are interested, we will be updated, uploading our uh, latest plan for, for webinars and workshops for this year in, the, in our different social media channels. So over there, you find all the most uh, updated information. And, um, and just a few lines about, about the young water professionals. So how, how you could um, collaborate uh, or be involved with, with us. Actually, you can really support all the activities of the management committee. So for example, being linked with the, uh, more the, the website or social media activities, the newsletter, but also you can take really a strong roles uh, coordinating events or coordinating webinars. And, and different type of dissemination activities that we have. You can also have a specific task in link with the young water professional relation officer. And you of course can have a, an active participation in the in the in the, in the management committee monthly meeting if you are a member, but as, as some of the other panelists mentioned before, there are really a lot of ways that you can uh, participate outside the, the, the management committee. So it really is you have um, any question, any doubt or, or, or yeah, uh, interest or join us, please you, you can just reach us uh, directly or, or towards, uh, towards Ragna or, or Isabella, and we will be happy to, to answer your questions um, and to have you on board, of course. Uh, I think next slide. Um, 
yeah, I think with that, uh, I thank you very much and, and hope you find this information uh, useful. Thank you so much for your representation, Jenny uh, LC. Um, thanks. I would like to thank all five speaker today for spending your time and well by us a very interesting overview about different uh, overview about specialty group as well as very detailed into different uh, special specialty group as well. So I would like to move on to the next question, uh, question, discussion and question. So hi on, if you have any question, please uh, raise your hand so you can ask, uh, make question into different speaker uh, today, or uh, you can type your question in the chat box so uh, we can, I can read your question as well. Um, so to provide the audience some time to ask questions. So I have very basic question for on the speaker today. So just, just see uh, how can YWB you join uh, a specialty group and how uh, bad, how to better guide uh, YWB or uh, the new team member uh, to the correct specialty group? Because like right now we have a lot of specialty group and if I'm a young YWB, how do I know which one works the best for me? So any volunteer uh, uh, to answer that question? No, I, I, I can just say that finding the right specialist group can sometimes be a bit difficult. With, with 51 active, active specialist group, it, it requires a little bit of search of actually, actually finding the, the one or maybe two or three that, that you find uh, mo most appropriate. Um, and I, I don't see any, any easy way out of that. Uh, I think that there is some short description in some documents from IWA headquarters about the specialist groups that just gives it a little brief overview. But but still, of course, that 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 partly that, that decision has to be made by, by the individual. But if you have colleagues in your field, then normally that, that would be a good way of, of finding out which which one is probably the, the most appropriate. And I also think that it's a good way to try to focus. I, I think there's a maximum of five specialist groups or something, or maybe 10 that one, one can sign up for, but um, try, try to, to focus on, on two or maximum three specialist groups and, and have, have one as your priority where you try to really be active and potentially be a management committee member and so on. That's my, my little advice on the second part of your question. And then I can leave the first part to some other of, of, of the, our panelists. Maybe I think you if, if you go on IWA Connect, you can actually go and have a look at the specialist groups. And there is a description on IWA Connect. Uh, I, well, I know there is for the water loss, so I assume there is for most of the other specialist groups that sort of describes what the specialist group does, which may be a, a good starting point. And maybe just also to complement on that, um, I think you, you you soon will realize if, when you have a look in, in the description that maybe I, I, there are certain at certain groups that are complementary, uh, and then maybe it might be the case that you you are interested in joining different of them, where actually you can find some synergies. So maybe uh, uh, as the other mentioned, maybe you have a main group. But you will find that there are maybe others that are actually quite interesting to join as well because there are there have some synergies and complementary activities. Thank you all for your great suggestion for uh, what it could be. Thank you. Um, again, uh, audience, if you have any question, please do not have to stay too shy to raise your hand to ask question or type your question in the chat box. So um, I do have one more question. So I'm wondering if on the speaker, if you can uh, uh, provide to YWB uh, the three main benefits or the key three key boy why a YWB need to should join the specialist group. Hmm. Maybe I make like a few. <laughs> 
So I, I think really the, the, the joining a SG first is a great opportunity for networking. This I think is, is, is clear. You get to, to really uh, get to know the people that is really working in, in certain topics and in certain thematics, but also give you the chance to, to, to quite direct your, your, your career because, because you get a, a whole overview of, of what is going on. So what are the, the trends, uh, who is working where? So I think that's a really a, 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 an added value. And also you get to know, okay, well, what is really going on in that topic? Uh, okay, who, what are the more, let's say, uh, hot uh, uh, areas at, at the moment and how can I contribute? And then other 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 action would be or other point is that you can really make uh, your your you can afford, you, you you can provide your 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 you can guide a little bit the direction I mean, you you can give your your inputs on that so even being part of the management committee or or not you can you can be quite active if, if you are interested in certain topic so I think that is with that I will summarize a little bit the the main benefits. Uh, I think you can you can really have something to say, uh, and, and and you can really guide um, where certain topics go. Of course, in 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 in, in, in quite close uh, working together with the other members and uh, and the community itself. Thank you, Genesee. And and may, maybe not only creating a network, which of course Genesee extremely important, but also to make friends, friends yes. for life. I mean, I I've been involved in, in this specialist group for 35 years and some of my best friends in yes. in the world are yes. members of that specialist group so i, I think that that's that's an important thing as well <laughs> i totally agree <laughs> how about you uh, gary or uh, uh yeah i think I, it's um there's a there's a lot of information that is that is out there that's been developed over the years and by joining the specialist groups and getting involved especially at the conferences there's that sharing of knowledge and also the networking which helps you to to build up your experience as well so th that's where i would say the specialist groups help thank you so much how are you uh right yeah, I agree with all the other panelists. Uh, I, I also think uh, added benefit is that um, choosing different specialist group, you will be introduced to topics that are not very close to what you are doing. And there is a knowledge transfer aspects of that. You may learn some new things that you can implement in the area subject area that you are working. So don't be afraid to join different specialist groups. Um, and try to, especially at the beginning, when you are exploring which direction to go, which career path to, to choose, try to join as many as relevant uh, topics as well. And then it will guide you. Uh, and knowledge transfer is a big thing. You know, there are a specialist group on smart systems. Uh, it can be implemented in any water related topic. Thank you. Thank you so much. How about you, Rashna? Do you have any suggestion the key main benefit from a specialist group? Uh, Nam, can you please repeat your question? Thank so you. my question will be, uh, can you provide uh, the main benefit or uh, one or two, three benefit that uh, why the BB should join a specialist group? Uh, for their personal and career development, if you are in this sector and if you want to you know, grow no more or want to connect with all the international, you know, professionals and members, you should join these specialist group. And by joining these groups, you can also connect with all the SG uh, leaders, management group members, chair and other members. You can start discussion. You can uh, think of uh, the your webinars with these members. You can think of writing papers and journals and anything, whatever you want. So it's a really a wider, you know, the uh, global network. And it's very, uh, it's a very good platform to, you know, get to know uh, uh, the people and water professionals here. So I think, of course, uh, by joining this group, uh, the all young water professional will get benefited. Thank you all for your sharing. Thank, the you. Opinion. Thank you. So I, I think I got one. Uh, 
and from Claudia. Hi, yes. Claudia, please uh, feel free to ask your question. Thank you, Nan. Uh, my question, I think, steps a little bit on uh, the previous question as well, but it would be more on a personal account or personal experience. Uh, what would you tell young water professionals uh, they should do to get the best value out of being part of a specialist group? What actions or what uh, mindset uh, we should have to be able to reach all these uh, amazing results and value that uh, you guys are sharing here now? Uh, maybe I can, I can start saying a few, few, few lines. Um, I think the most important is really that you you have to be active and and, and you have to have a, a commitment with uh, with the specialist you that that you, that you choose uh, because this is the only way really to to make a, to make a difference and have a um, really a value of being a member of that and as I mentioned before I think being active actually you can first um, get to know what is really happening in in in, in those thematics. But also you have a say it, uh, 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 and you can actually direct where, where, where to go. So I think really the, 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 the important point is really to be active for real because uh, you can be a member, but then, um, yeah, you don't have maybe a lot of contribution. So that really the, 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 the most important is really being active and, and, and it's something I think personal. So how, how you see, so I, I, you have a commitment with this. Okay, I will dedicate some time to, to make this work, to get my ideas, to work out, to bring maybe a topic further. If you, for example, have a, a, a special interest that you will have to move further, it's also a good way because um, yeah, you can uh, make a, a change or you can propose something uh, in the in the in the management committee uh, for example as, uh, about a special workshop or a special webinar or you have an idea of an event related with the with 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 the subject itself so it's really being active where you can really have all the 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 the, the value on, on your membership uh, in, in any of, of the specialist group i would say I also wanted to add, uh, I agree, you have to be very active and also volunteer to do different things. For example, we, at the end of each uh, webinar we organize, we invite participants, there are a lot of young water professionals at the webinars as well, to contact us and volunteer to give a talk. Um, you know, this is an excellent opportunity in a very friendly environment to do presentation, to showcase what you are doing. So take advantage of these opportunities. Or oh, the same with the special issue that we did for intermittent water supply systems. There was extra, extra support to help um, people who submitted their papers to this special issue to make sure their uh, papers will be at high quality. Uh, it's going to be excellent. The work they did was excellent, but how to present it, how to make sure it's a high standard for a journal publication. So my suggestion would be, please volunteer to be more involved in the specialist groups. And also if there are opportunities, take advantage of those opportunities. Yeah, and, and because uh, I mean, Claudia, it's no, um, it's no, nothing to hide that uh, in in most specialist groups, I I would assume, based on what I know about my own and a few others, that we have in in many of them that there's like fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand members, but of course, eighty percent of those members are they, they they were happy to they became members, they went into their profile, they tick. A few boxes of of uh, which specialist groups to to be part of, and then that that's that's it. That then um, they, they have um, access to to other IWA benefits and, and and so on and conference discounts and and whatever it, it may be. But the, the, there there is say twenty percent of highly active members in at least in in our specialist group, and and. If you want to become part of, of that activity, then it is, as was just mentioned, to some extent certainly requires your own your own um, 
push that that that, that you kind of push yourself a little bit in, into the system. Um, most of the or many of the management committees have. We've, we've heard it in previous presentation, a young work professional liaison officer that can provide some, some assistance, even if uh, if you don't want to go all the way and try to join the management committee, there's certainly still tasks that that uh, that can be can be done, and which is a, is a both great use for the specialist group and also hopefully of, of benefit for 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 yourself. But but it does require you to take that initiative to to uh, show that okay yes I want to get involved. And on the other hand, if you really want to get involved and try to become part of a management committee, then activity, at least, at least in, in my specialist group, we, we are quite strict. Um, the worst thing that, that can happen to a specialist group is to have a management committee that have is based on basically members that are not really involved and not really interested in, 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 in the work, because then the whole specialist group activity gradually dies out. Um, we we uh, we always keep strict attendance on our monthly meetings, and we always, or well, I, because when I'm chair, uh, if people show very little activity in the first six months or twelve months, because some people apply and seem very, very anxious, very very eager to to, to get started. But once that they are in the management committee, it kind of drops off. <laughs> Unfortunately, in some cases, has happened very quickly, and then they, they get a little bit of a warning, and because there might be special reasons for them being not so active. But then, after a year or maximum two years, we we ask them to to step down, uh, and they 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 normally follow our, our advice because we want an active active management committee that can push questions forward and take initiatives and, and uh, that, that that requires uh, activity. Uh, so, so becoming a, a management committee member is not just a good thing. Well, it is a good thing to have on your CV, but uh, and, and maybe that is why sometimes we have uh, had uh, this uh, misfortune that, that we have involved people that are not then very, very active. But if you are both active and you have it on, on your CV, then that's, that's perfect. Then, then, then you have double benefit. Thank you so much for your input and suggestion of totally right. Give fire, give, uh, motivate the YWB is really important to, um, and keep them active. Yeah, kind of like keyboard for us. So I think I have one uh, last question. Uh, for all the speaker before I move, I transfer uh, the discussion session to Isabel, Is Isabella and Claudia for the final remark. To be uh, what positive outcomes or result uh, to be expected from IWA at home in the next 10 years in regard to the world environment? Well, I mean, one of the things that the water loss group is looking at very closely is obviously leakage um, is a big problem. Um, but we've just looked at it in the past as more as a, um, as a volume of water that's being lost. But we're now starting to look at it in terms of carbon, uh, how much carbon is being lost as well, because it's not just water, but you've, you've obviously got electricity, um, you've got chemicals that were used to treat that water before it got into the network and then <clears throat> all of the distribution costs. So we've just started an initiative after, after our conference in Prague last year, which is called the Leakage Emissions Initiative. And it's basically a white paper looking at how utilities can, um, can estimate their carbon footprint based on their water losses. And there are, and then we're looking at the next step, which is where um, utilities or companies can actually pay money to, um, to sort of offset their carbon footprint. So this could be a way that um, if there's companies that want to 
put money into a utility to try and reduce leakage. Um, so it could be other companies, uh, manufacturing companies, airlines, anything really that is very difficult for them to reduce their carbon footprint. They could actually put money into a leakage reduction program that would then reduce the carbon footprint of the utilities, which they could then use as credits. Um, so that's something that we're looking at very closely in the, the specialist group. Um, and I think it's going to become a bigger, a bigger issue over the next few years. Mm, Thanks, Clary. <laughs> Go ahead, Jennifer. Maybe just to complement, um, I, I guess it's the same for, for other SG, but um, we try to really uh, focus on, on the practical side. So how, how to bring forward um, uh, research really to, to application, how to, to, to close that gap. And I think that's quite quite relevant for, for the years to come. Um, in our case, where we talk about uh, instrumentation, automation, there are uh, really uh, big challenges when, when you go really to, to, the, to the real world. So we, we try to, to move as well in, in that direction uh, to make things more, more tangible and, and, and really uh, another value to the society and to the industry. So really to, to how to bring forward um, the, what happened in the academic world, uh, really to practice. So I think that, that that must be the case also for, for other SG. And um, I guess this is really one of the, the yeah, of important outcomes of, of to, to, towards uh, the years to come, I would say. Maybe uh, you, I, I think your question was also IWA as a whole. So uh, no, no, not not maybe only, only the uh, explicit <laughs> specialist groups. The uh, because I mean with with um, thirty five years of membership in IWA, we have seen um, different initiatives at different points. At some periods, IWA has been more focusing on its core activities. And in other periods, it has been more outward searching to be a player on the international arena in terms of uh, discussions with UN and, 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 and other big organizations. And um, it is my, my view that uh, with, uh, with the executive, executive uh, director, Kala Vairavamurthy, uh, we have, uh, have now, and also with Tom Mollenkopf as, as the chair of IWA. It's, uh, uh, it is uh, on, on the out searching connections with, with, with the outside to, to become or to be a, a player in when it comes to um, not making the decision, but suggesting solutions for decision makers on a, on a high level. Because I mean, we, we, we know that even, even if, uh, at some point we find, oh, it's difficult to find financing for projects and so on. But we know that in 10, 20, 30 years, water bill will be a huge problem. We have mm -hmm. uh, the whole climate, water, energy nexus, and also food production that, that comes together. And with, without water, we, 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 have, uh, we have nothing. So, so uh, um, I, I see... Um, from a, from a research perspective and development perspective, I see great things happening in, in the water sector, but maybe based on, on uh, that we get major global problems, um, which is of course unfortunate. I think if there are no other interventions, we can go ahead with our agenda and give the final remarks to close out this event. I uh, believe we have, um, Listen, uh, we have shared all the experiences and we realize how the specialist groups are not only a great way to get involved with IWA, but also it's an entry door to the different sectors and specialities within uh, water and this great opportunity to expand our international networks, our network of, of friends, of colleagues, and to get some mentorship that when we are starting out as young professionals is always so valuable and also clear the paths for the next 
uh, wide of the fees they are currently studying or, or finishing their undergrads. So it's also an opportunity to get that experience with leadership, with events, with this uh, sort of organization. And also uh, one thing I want to, to make sure we are aware is that within the specialist groups, we as young water professionals are valued as professionals as well. We, uh, our knowledge, expertise, experiences are valued within the specialist groups. So we're not there only to learn, but also to contribute to the discussion as we, we've we heard from the chairs of the different groups that, that uh, presented their work. And also there are more ways to get involved aside from being part of the management committee, depending on the time you have available to, to participate. There are review papers, uh, publications, the source magazine, journals, special issues, events, um, a whole a host of webinars and, and different conferences. And also uh, one thing that I uh, always like to reinforce is that this is not only for early career academics, but also practitioners. This is a place where all of us that are involved in the water sector come together to, to share our experiences. And uh, I love hearing about the mentorship training programs within the modeling and integrated assessment uh, specialist group, the different uh, ways we can work as translators of knowledge, be it via languages or regarding a translate sort of in generations as well. And it's a great way to keep updated on the latest developments and innovations. And uh, to close out this, uh, this session, what I would say is the specialist groups are a great opportunity for career advancement, but as we saw, you get out uh, what you're willing to put in as well. So if you put the dedication in, I'm sure, your uh, objectives will be met and you will get all this value that we've heard from our uh, speakers today. Thank you, Claudia, for presenting this a summary of what we have discussed. So before we conclude it, I just want to highlight some of the upcoming IWA events. So we will have a webinar on uh, waterproof in partnership with the, the Water Conservancy. And then we have on uh, Earth Observation with Prem Water, and finally a webinar on safely managed sanitation in partnership with the World Health Organization on this. And uh, of course, that I have to highlight that we have our Water and Development Congress and exhibition this year uh, in Kigali in Rwanda. So do scan this QR code so you can find more information uh, about the event and how you can submit it and be part of it. And finally, as we have received some information, uh, uh, some questions uh, about information about the membership, I prepared this uh, quick list slide on the membership fee. So you can definitely see that we have a difference if you are in a high income country or a low income country. And if you are a young water professional, please do use the discount code that you're seeing in your slide so you can receive a 20% discount off in your new membership. And finally, thank you everyone for coming. Thank for the speakers, the moderator, and the rapporteur for being a part of this wider big get together. And I hope that you can see you all in our next online events. So take care and have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks.